Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back, guys, to another Dorky Diggity Dave Dork Lessons video. Today's subject is, well, courage and assassin mastery seem to be broken. I noticed something strange when I was using Quake in the monthly quest recently. Many times I'm so focused on not getting hit and stacking those aftershock charges that you don't really notice much else of what's going on. So initially, I thought this was a Quake bug, because as you can see here, she's clearly in courage range, and mine is set to max at 20% additional attack. While Diablo here is clearly in assassin range, and I should gain 60% attack, none of which are accounted for here, nor happening here at all, in her damage. So, I did some other digging, I'm like, well, is it like an attack thing? Does attack actually affect her aftershock charges? And they do. So, I contacted my good friend Troy Paradiso, a fan and frequent visitor to the channel, and I told him what I found. He said, man, you know, that's strange because I ran into a similar issue with Killmonger. And you know what else? Someone else in our Dork R alliance said, Courage wasn't kicking in on Gwenpool's Heavy. Then I started to think, maybe there isn't a bug with Quake. Maybe it's a bug with Courage, an assassin. I thought surely someone would have noticed these masteries not working properly. Turns out this is happening to a very specific type of damage, and that interaction with attack enhancing masteries seemed to be bugged. So why am I making this video? Well, first off, for clicks and views. But also, I have a direct line to Kabam, and I'm going to send them this video to help us all out, but there are some people that need to see me do these kind of things publicly so they can make up their mind about whether I'm with them or against them or whatever it is. I know, it's foolish, but I did it anyway. Clicks and views! I'm not quite sure how this is being affected, but as you can see here, Iceman's cold snap from his SP1 is scaling properly, as opposed to his frostbite that is staying still. Quake's damage with her aftershocks just stay the same no matter what happens. And Killmonger's bleed in this example is a result of his SP3, yet it still stays the same on both examples. But it seems to be tied to things that are not part of a physical or a special attack. Like Nebula's parry to send over that shock damage, it seems to stay the same. Even though we have that courage active on that example on the right. I actually don't know how far this goes, if it's a part of lesser and greater strength as well, and glass cannon, as I haven't tested those options. So hopefully you guys can test this out as well, and send your findings in, because I'll be posting this on both the forums and on Reddit, so both links will be in the description. So anyway guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, all that stuff helps me out, and remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip. Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all.